Happy days. Oh, happy days, everybody. Holy shit. Oh my God. So the Dallas Cowboys just made an outstanding hire in my personal opinion. The Dallas Cowboys, just a few days after firing Mike Nolan, maybe a week after firing Mike Nolan, I'm not sure. Um, the Dallas Cowboys have just hired Dan Quinn as, excuse me, I just did. They just hired Dan Quinn as their defensive coordinator. Um, I don't know anything about him other than Atlanta Falcons head coach, 28 to three. <laughs> and um, he was also the defensive coordinator for the Seahawks. Uh, in 2013 and 2014, and that was when they had the most dominant defense in the NFL. Um, but you also have to, before you get too fucking excited, you also have to realize that they had elite, elite talent all across the board on that defense. Richard Sherman, Cam Chancellor, Earl Thomas, uh, Byron Jones, back when he was good. Uh, um... Bobby Wagner, Michael Bennett, just a whole bunch of fucking studs on that defense that obviously terrorized Peyton Manning in the Super Bowl for the 2013 season. <clears throat> so, um, I don't think the improvement is going to be overnight. I think that, uh, like, it wouldn't be fair to expect our defense to go out there and only allow three points in the fucking season opener. It's going to take some time, um, you know, for the players to adjust, I think. Um, and I'm, I'm really, really fucking hoping that it's not anything like last year. You know, anything like last season where we saw the exact same fucking mistakes over and over and over and over again you know like <laughs> three quarters throughout the entire season still seeing the exact same shit you know miscommunications just letting them run the ball just right up our fucking ass you know i just hope if it's bad it'll if it's bad it's bad you know, as they try to adjust, but I hope that um, it's not consistent and he makes an effort to make some adjustments and try to correct, you know, all the all the bad shit, all the bad play that's going on um, and getting the player's ass, uh, getting the player's asses when he needs to. So anyways, my opinion, I think it's a great hire. Um, but again, like I said, all I know is that he was the head coach for the Falcons and he was also a defensive coordinator for the Seahawks when, you know, that was prime Legion of Boom. So let me know what you guys think of him, whether if you hate him or whether uh, if you really like him, you know, let me know why in the comments section. Um, and while I'm here, man, I might as well just go ahead and give you guys my predictions for the divisional round. Um, I jinxed two teams over the wildcard weekend, being the Titans and uh, the Seahawks. They lost on uh, uh, on the wildcard weekend. So uh, I'll just go ahead and see who I jinx next with the divisional round. So um, Buccaneers versus the Saints playing uh, in New Orleans. I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure that the Buccaneers got swept by New Orleans this year, but I'm not sure. I don't follow the NFC South. Couldn't give two shits about them. Um, and if that's the case, I'm going to take Tampa Bay. Um, you know, I want to see, I, I really want to see them go deep in the postseason, you know, especially you know, Tampa Bay Buccaneers fans just suffering all that shit. You know, Jameis Winston and, oh my God, all, all those just depressing fucking years, dude. Um, 
So I have Tampa Bay over the New Orleans Saints in New Orleans as well. Uh, then you have the Bills going against, I think they're, I'm pretty sure they're hosting the Baltimore Ravens. I have uh, the Buffalo Bills just fucking cleaning ass, just mopping them all over the fucking floor, ending their season. So uh, I'll have the Bills advancing to the AFC Championship game. Um, and then, what? oh, the, the Rams versus the Packers playing in Green Bay. I think Green Bay is going to win that game. I think they'll make it tough. Um, or it could be a blowout, but I think it's it's going to be a close, uh, kind of a close game. Probably low to mid scoring. But I see uh, Brady going against Rodgers in the NFC Championship game. Excuse me, I'm sorry. <clears throat> and finally, the Chiefs versus the Browns. Now, if you don't know already... Chase Claypool has wasted no time whatsoever to start running his mouth and talking all this shit once again. Um, he said, yeah, you know, it was a disappointing loss. This was on Instagram Live, by the way. He said, oh, yeah, it, it was a disappointing loss, but, you know, the Browns are going to get clapped next week, so it's all good. You salty ass bitch. I am so fucking happy for Cleveland, man. I am so fucking thrilled that they beat Pittsburgh yesterday, and they just fucking shredded them, especially in the first quarter. They were kind of fucking up, you know, third quarter and the fourth quarter, but they did, you know, pull it out, so good on them. Um, but anyways, yeah, fuck Pittsburgh. Just want to get that out one more time. And just want to say how proud I am and how Cleveland pretty much already won the postseason in everybody's hearts. <laughs> so, um, but then you have the Browns going against Kansas City, playing in Kansas City. <sighs> Their season's done. I don't think there's any shot in hell that uh, the Chiefs are going to let the Browns, a team who got fucking clapped by the New York Jets, go into Arrowhead Stadium and beat them on their home turf. I just don't see how the Browns will win this game. But, but, allow me to play Ben Shapiro for a sec here. Hypothetically, can you imagine if the Browns did beat the Kansas City Chiefs? That would be that. Oh my God, that would make the playoffs so much more fucking interesting. Even if they lose the next week to Buffalo, man, that would make it so much more interesting. But you know, knowing the Chiefs, they're gonna beat the Browns, and then they're gonna beat the Bills, and that's just, I don't know, that's just really boring to me. They are a great team. Like, don't get me wrong, but it'd be fun to see Cleveland actually beating the Kansas City Chiefs. I think that'd be fucking crazy, but um, yeah, Chiefs versus Bills in the AFC Championship game. I got the Chiefs winning, and they'll advance into the Super Bowl going against uh, or hold on. I think last week I said Buffalo would uh, would win in the AFC Championship game. Fuck it. I'm going to be consistent. Bills versus Packers uh, in the Super Bowl. We know it's going to be fucking <laughs> the Chiefs representing the AFC, but I'm just hoping. I'm just hoping it will be someone different, so it will be more interesting. But anyways, man... Uh, hopefully they won't be, the, you know, the fucking New England Patriots. You know, just slaughter every team the NFL has to offer for the next 20 fucking years. But anyways, uh, that's all the time I got. Those are my picks, and those are my thoughts on Dan Quinn. Great, 
great hiring. I'm so glad that we got Dan Quinn and not that other fucking guy that uh, worked with, um, you know, that, that, that worked with uh, Mike McCarthy, I think he was their secondary coach or something while he was still in Green Bay. You know, no. Stop hiring your fucking friends and hire, you know, some defensive coordinators or hire some coaches that will actually help this team. Um, and that's exactly what happened today. You know, possibly. We'll see how it goes. May not be a great fit at all. But we'll just see what happens. I think... It's a great hiring, so I'm glad that he didn't just, you know, hire another fucking bestie um, like he did with Mike Nolan. I think he and Mike Nolan uh, coached to together, but, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, uh, also, Doug Peterson, uh, he got fired today. Um, <laughs> I really don't understand how Howie Roseman is still there, but... You know, that's that's not not my team, not my monkey, not my circus. I don't give a shit. Um, you know, just he's secretly a Cowboys fan to me. Just let him keep on destroying that franchise. Perfectly good with me. I don't care. I'll be over here in my little uh, sad, sad, sad fucking Dallas Cowboy or, oops, sorry, in my, in my Jerry corner. Um, but anyways... Those are my thoughts on all the recent shit that's been going on. Things are getting really spicy in the NFL right now. Um, fuck Pittsburgh. Just one more time. God damn, that was a satisfying game to watch yesterday. I'll see you guys next time. In peace.